What's happening lads? Welcome back to the channel. We just wrapped up on Twitch there reacting to the brand new single from Humanity's Last Breath and this is basically the highlights from that stream. If you have not followed on Twitch, please do head on over to the link in the description in the pinned comment to this video. We're going to be live on Sunday at 1pm EST where we're going to be comparing and getting a winner between Humanity's Last Breath's self-titled album, the remastered version and also Valjarta's Mastadin Forte version. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Twitch.tv forward slash Drew Fortune One. I'll see you all there. Enjoy the video. Oh fuck! I'm not ready. Oh, it's happening! It's happening! I'm shutting up.
god, that was a lot. That was the Thal version of Humanity's Last Breath. I know the last single was Thal, I mean, undoubtedly, but that one was like Thal Thal. Like slow, drawn out, reverse fucking... I need to listen to that about nine times before I can figure it out. Oh my god. Holy fucking shit. I was reading the lyrics there as well because thankfully you had the lyrics on screen because that can be the case with a lot of Humanity's Last Breath stuff as well. Especially on the first listen. The mix is so dense, the vocals get lost to me. Obviously, they're a massive part of the instrumentation, but the actual lyrics there I was reading along, and it was, from what I can see, a lot of repetition with someone having their eyes pried open to, like, watch the downfall of the earth, which just gave me fucking chills, along with the fucking female choir vocals. That was really haunting, man. That was the wildest shit. That same vocal sample is in Aviana Paradox, really? That's some fucking ear you have if you've copped that. I haven't heard that track, so I don't know, but... This is heavier than my ex! <laughs> Who else feels like they need a few more listens with that one? Like, not... I don't mean now, I mean just in general. That one is definitely not as, like, accessible as the first single in any way, shape, or form. It's way more sludgy, way more nuanced. Like, the other one just lended itself to instant enjoyment instant feedback like there's no real head by i guess you could kind of like obviously when you get familiar with the certain segment of the song you can really like throw your head to it and everything but it's more just the feel you get overall it just does feel like humanity's last breath is the perfect name for these guys because that's the that's the vibe that they create with their music it's just like it does feel like the world is ending like that's it just feels like everything is collapsing around you when you listen to their music it's the perfect description of their music it's fucking mental how well they've encapsulated that sound the standout parts on this track for me are the like dissonant ringing whilst the choir comes in in the back now i hear people are saying that aviana used it in one of their tracks so that'd be interesting if that is the case i don't know that track so the other track was more like i guess it had like a thaw atmosphere to it but this was actually like the genre thaw if that makes sense like the actual structure of it felt very thaw whereas the last track sounded like other bands i guess to a certain extent with the you know more accessible groove, but they gave it that saw sound. I think that's kind of how I'm thinking of it anyway. I'll give that an, an eight because I think that everything they do is fantastic. It just always feels so unique. Like you just know when you're listening to a humanity. How many bands can you say that where you listen to the band and you just know it's them straight away? 